I'll see it when I believe it. Hi everyone, this is Lori Lines of Higher Self Access. I am a QHHT Level 3 practitioner, board certified clinical hypnotist, intuitive and inspirational medium. Growing up, many of us are conditioned to trust facts, not feelings. Think back to math class. It was never enough to have the correct response. You had to show your work. We became conditioned to think that anything that cannot be proven in black and white falls into the cognitive abyss of incredulity and insignificance. I'll believe it when I see it. In other words, show me the evidence and I will acknowledge the validity of your point of view. Yet how can you show someone the carefree exhilaration of getting caught in a sun shower, the pain of saying goodbye, or the indignation of witnessing injustice? There are ultimate truths that can never be embodied by words on a page, numbers on a spreadsheet, or even when beholding it with one's own eyes. Not until some people experience or manifest some of these absolute realities can we have conviction in their truth. For instance, divinity as an experience, principle, or beings cannot be conjured at will to prove to a non-believer that it exists. Does that then negate the existence of the divine? Sadly, for the left brain thinker, it does. You may ask, what is a left brained thinker? Contrary to how it may sound, the distinction between left or right brain thinkers has nothing to do with political polarities. It refers to the pathway through which people process their worldly experiences. The left brain processes experiences through logic. I'll believe it when I see it. It systematically parses and stores information based on tangible evidence. The right brain processes our experiences in a way that adds richness, depth, and meaning. Those who think with their right brain gain understanding based on emotions, intuition, and spiritual awareness. Right brain thinkers know believing is seeing because they gain wisdom through a holistic impression of what is seen and unseen, the tangible and intangible. They know there is so much more to reality than what can be witnessed with the five bodily senses. We create our own reality when we see, think, and understand primarily through the right brain. And the existence we choose is designed by what we believe in our hearts and higher consciousness. At that point, believing truly is seeing because we can see past what we have been conditioned to fear, to trust, and to surrender to. When you have conviction in your own awareness and inner truth, you also realize that many, quote, facts are not really factual at all. And when we see, think, and feel for ourselves, our knowledge and experience are no longer pigeonholed by where we were raised, who raised us, who we follow on social media, or the cable channels available to us. The distinction between I'll believe it when I see it and believing is seeing does not solely impact us on a personal level. In actuality, it has communal, global, and universal implications. When we are moved as masses by socialized fear, hate, division, and panic, it wreaks widespread havoc and pandemonium. The same way the left brain parses information is the same way it can parse people. 
The left brain thinks in terms of us and them and me and you based on observable distinctions between individuals or groups and me. On the other hand, the holistic perspective of the right brain views things in terms of us and we based on the higher awareness and intuitive belief that we are a collective and that oneness is the highest path. The ultimate truth of the new earth, the fifth dimension, or the age of enlightenment is loving, harmonious unity. We are one through ascension because we all hear and heed the singular voice of the source. We are unified because we all trust the voice within, channeling the absolute veracity of divinity. Yet, does this oneness have to remain a distant possibility of the 5D? Things could be different from the pandemic of dread, depression, and dissension. Because the truth is, there is a better way. If we stop seeing the world through the fractured, disconnected lens of the left brain and start viewing it through the unified, harmonious perspective of the right brain, we can bring divine order and holistic balance back to the heart and soul of society on a communal, social, and universal level. Don't wait until you see it to believe it. Believe it now. Believe social, global, and universal healing is possible. And just like that, you can begin to create the world you wish to see. Thank you for listening, and I wish you love and truth. I am Lori Lines.